This is the mission Dragonfly. We are scheduled to launch in 2026. Directive to study prebiotic chemistry on Saturn's largest moon, Titan. In other words, evidence of alien life. We journey through the universe to a hidden place. A veiled world with a secret ocean and strange sand dunes. A world of thick orange skies and chaotic storms. This is the moon Titan, satellite of Saturn. Titan was first discovered by Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens on the 25th of March 1655 and just around 300 years later on the 14th of January 2005 NASA landed a probe on the surface as part of its Cassini mission to Saturn. Thanks to all the data collected by the probe we now have a better more detailed picture of what this strange world is like. Before Cassini, scientists knew virtually nothing about what lay beneath that all-enveloping orange haze. We now know that Titan has alien deserts, alien lakes, and alien storms. The question still remaining is, does it also have alien life? Scientists are hopeful for several reasons. Titan's surface temperature is around minus 179 degrees Celsius, and its seasons often stretch beyond seven Earth years. But its intriguing and often chaotic climate has resulted in the formation of a series of spectacular landscapes and natural features making Titan the most Earth-like body in the solar system. Titan's surface is etched with the trails of flowing rivers of methane and ethane. These rivers fill the Great Lakes peppering the moon with huge supplies of natural gas. Some scientists have speculated about the possibility of the existence of non-water-based life producing methane instead of carbon dioxide living in these rivers and lakes, while others have wondered about the likelihood of a subsurface ocean and hydrothermal vents where organic compounds can form through chemical reactions. Titan has a dense, chemically active atmosphere rich in carbon compounds. It has a 95% makeup of nitrogen and a 5% makeup of methane incredibly similar to that of primordial Earth. Most of the methane in Titan's atmosphere is broken up by the sun's ultraviolet rays, but interestingly, this breakup process causes chemical reactions that form the moon's abundant supply of hydrocarbons, as well as that iconic orange haze. According to the Planetary Habitability Index, all of these factors give Titan the highest habitability rating of any known world. Of course, so much of this is speculation and theory. We simply need to know more. This is where Dragonfly comes in. The Dragonfly mission was pioneered by scientists Jason W. Barnes and Ralph D. Lorenz and was pitched as a joint proposal to the European Space Agency's Jupiter and Enceladus mission. Dragonfly became official in 2009 and is being led by principal investigator Elizabeth Turtle. But the project lost out on priority status to NASA's Jupiter Europa mission, scheduled for 2025. Nevertheless, development continues. So a big team of us have spent the last year working to do as much design development as possible um, in just a, a year-long period on this, uh, this mission concept. Um, and in fact, the, the big tome of the, the mission study, the concept study, just got delivered to NASA yesterday. The spacecraft, a mobile robotic rotorcraft lander, has been chosen as the best model to withstand Titan's low gravity and dense atmosphere. Scientists are aiming for Dragonfly to be able to travel long distances and explore diverse locations using cameras, sensors, and a rechargeable battery in order to characterize the habitability of Titan's environment, search for biosignatures, and study the current rate of progression of the moon's biochemistry, all over a short 2.7 year period. This strenuous work will involve the use of various instruments to make measurements of the surface composition, atmospheric conditions, and geological processes. 
As of today, however, we're still a good 18 years away from seeing any new information, with Dragonfly not due to land until December 2034. In the meantime, if you want to follow something more current, you can follow NASA's Mars 2020 mission, which will use the rover Perseverance to study Martian rocks and soil in the hopes of finding signs of past habitable conditions and or microbial life. The Mars mission is scheduled to launch in July and scientists expect a landing by February next year. So for now, Titan remains a mystery world, an orange sphere of secrets and strangeness, but also a beacon of hope in a seemingly empty universe. What will Dragonfly discover? We can only speculate and dream.